Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending April the 1st, 2022. So April Fools on the tax uh, situation here. There was a new bill that went on, a lot, of, a lot went on this week, but a new bill uh, passed through the House of Representatives. It's unclear right now how likely this thing is, uh, or at least most parts of it are likely to uh, pass the Senate. Uh, and without significant changes that, uh, you know, and then ultimately would stand a chance at becoming law. But the biggest thing of significance to us was, I mean, the talk on all, on all the shows was about the tax on unrealized gains, you know, for the billionaires. That, that's, uh, that's the headline stuff. But what, what uh, caught my eye on the thing was that they were going to increase the age for RMDs for, to age 73 in 2023. And then 75 by 2025, that would have some significant impact on our planning process. Keep an eye out on that thing. That's the new uh, Secure uh, Act uh, 2.0. So we'll see how that uh, ends up uh, uh, planning, but we'll keep you abreast of that. The big, the big thing that happened this week is uh, uh, the uh, oil trade seems to have abated for a minute. The equities trade was doing well earlier in the week, still is doing well, although it's, it's, it's dwindling off, but it's still in bullish, uh, it's, it's got a bullish hint to it. Uh, I was kind of glad to see the uh, the trade go the way that it was because it seems like now the technicals are lining up to allow for a new rotation uh, into uh, in, into uh, perhaps a new rally. Now, job numbers exploded this uh, this week, so they came in really really good uh, as well. So we've got this thing of uh, of a hot economy over here, people making money, but prices because of the supply chain disruptions are still uh, elevated. So that's going to uh, take a while, uh, and and so. Uh, some of the larger banks right now are, are uh, you know, trying to find their place in, in all of this mix. We would think generally in a rising rate environment that they would be doing better than they are. I think things are just trying to settle out here. It's not going to happen uh, overnight uh, as, we, as we go into uh, the new quarter. But quarter one ended uh, slightly down, you know, down off 6-7% on the S&P 500 uh, from, from the beginning of the, of the year. And uh, the NASDAQ uh, uh, quite a bit worse. NASDAQ still in, in correction territory. SP 500 seems uh, to be uh, hovering safely above that zone and kind of battling between its 20 and 50 days. So uh, right now, uh, small and mid caps uh, doing okay. Uh, and in and, and that regard, the overall look is that uh, large growth and the for, for and not for nothing, okay, but the non tech. Uh, part, portions of that, those components that are in the S&P 500, not necessarily driving the Nasdaq. So that is doing a, a lot better. What does that mean for all of our planning process? So if you're if you're in in decide, undecided right now and and, and looking at it, uh, the different directions that you could be going uh, in these trades as you're as you're winding down your career, your 401ks, and getting ready to plan for retirement, well, look at this. We have several different options that are looking better right now because of the interest rate environment. And so some of those we can, we can offer some downside protection, some measured downside protection with not a lot of uh, uh, cap uh, in exchange for that. So you're still getting pretty nice uh, upward uh, potential uh, for that in some ways. Time segmented returns that we're putting together are coming in nicely because of those conservative plays that we put people uh, into while we're drawing down on pieces of their, uh, for, of their retirement savings in order to convert it into a tax-free uh, position. So that's something to take a, a, a look at or be aware of anyway. And lots of new offerings coming out just in the next two weeks uh, by some of our favorite carriers that are going to offer a lot of flexibility in terms of index strategies moving forward. And, uh, and, speak, it, it, and I'm glad that we work with some of the just very top best uh, people. It's the people that makes the make the companies and these guys really are doing good jobs of being innovative uh, in, in bringing us new, uh, new strategies to offer uh, you in terms of uh, the indexes that are going to be available and then the participation rates within those indexes uh, that 
translates A into better accumulation value while you're in some of these uh, safe money plays. And then also, once you've triggered income, guaranteed lifetime income, these strategies will then also going to impact that and allow you to have a lot more flexibility and a lot more upward mobility in that income rate. So you've got growing income in all these plays that we put together. Uh, if I'm speaking just Greek to all you guys, then uh, give us a call. And, and, and better yet, come to one of our, uh, if, you know, another one of our, our sessions here and we'll explain this to you on the whiteboard, draw it out uh, uh, and put, it to, put the numbers to work and, and show you how it applies in your particular situation. Literally are showing day in, day out, people saving 100, 150, 200,000, uh, some of the people with bigger portfolios, 300, 400,000, half a million dollars in tax savings over the long haul. And we're not even inventing new tax right, uh, rate increases, okay? No tax hikes. Just if taxes, if the situation stays the same as it is, is what I'm talking about. Hundreds of thousands of dollars tax savings that you don't have to give to a wasteful government, but instead put it to good use yourself put it to good use for your legacy, your family members if you want to, and some people want to do it for charities as well. There's a lot of way to do these different things uh, and we can do them and accomplish an optimal situation without sacrificing anything. So you don't have to give up one thing to do, an, one good thing to do another good thing. So we can work it out and put it all together. The weather's looking really great it's going to be a wonderful weekend, and we hope uh, for good things coming back next week. Like I said, we're hoping that the markets, uh, they're, 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 they're poised to either start a new rally or just continue this trade. Again, total return is the place to go. A lot of you got updates this week uh, in your uh, in your plan confidence uh, 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 reallocations for your uh, those of you that are currently employed and you're utilizing that program. Uh, some of those plays there in the semi-tactical are staying into, you know, about a third cash because of the volatility. We're trying to take advantage for the monies that we're managing that are not tied up in those employer plans. We're trying to take advantage of that volatility and do some other great things. And that's some of the things I was alluding to. It's because of that that these new strategies are becoming available to us. Give us a call. Let's see how it works for you. In the meantime, stay happy till we see you again.